Hi friends, welcome back to the Programmer Guide YouTube channel. Today we are going to write a Java program to count each department of employees by using Java 8 Stream API. See, um, sometimes right our requirement might be there like how many employees are there in each department or same thing is going to be applicable for the student. How many students are there in each branch of the college? So such a way we can find it, okay. So uh, before going to that, right, uh, we have created the employee class. See, employee class is having the employee ID, name, age, gender, department, and year of joining salary. So based on the department data, right, we need to get. And I have created the one uh, factory class. See, um, Java 8 employee data. It is the uh, uh, class and created the one uh, static factory method and added the all the data. See, while practicing your uh, program, right, you can pause the uh, video here and uh, enter the all the data and you can uh, try to execute the program, okay. So, now I will go and write the actual business logic. Since uh, the uh, employee data is going to be written, the, this method is going to be written the list of data, right. So, we need to declare the list, list, employee, EMP list equals to java 8 employee data dot get employee data see this method is going to be uh, get the data from this uh, class okay whatever the data in real time you will get this data from the database okay let me import the statement control shift o now we will write the business logic okay see i think uh, you have seen the uh, earlier programs right see uh, male and female employees see here uh, male and female employees of the uh, the organization is there right the same logic we are going to write here okay if you want i can copy it otherwise i can write it both are the same okay so i will take the same logic and we need to modify the data okay see um, here um, department department emp count is the map our map actually okay so here right instead of the gender we need to group the data based on the department so em employee dot get department see this is our logic okay so if you want to uh, write this program right you i mean if you practice this kind of programs right you can uh, remember whatever the different kinds of set of operations are uh, given at the time of interview so you can easily answer so please go through my java 8 tutorials so you can understand the basic fundamental concepts once you get the all the fundamental concepts right it is very easy to write the programs okay so this is our program so here right we can uh, uh, write it like a sys out department count see department count see uh, product development department is five and transport and security one Security and transport one, sales and marketing three, okay, and uh, human resources two, account and finance two. Likewise, different departments are there in this organization. So instead of uh, printing this, right, we can do in another way, okay, like uh, uh, print each department in one by one, uh, like key and values, okay. So I will write it for you. Since uh, we have copied this uh, data from other program, right, we can uh, extend our time to. Uh, write this kind of program uh, logic okay so for entry so entry what is the map it is retaining the same string and long so entry of string long colon uh, here uh, entry department department count map this is the map right dot get sorry uh, entry set okay this is the going to be get all the entry of the data okay so let me import this control shift o so here uh, yeah, util dot map yeah see all the uh, required classes and interfaces we have been imported now what we will print this out of entry dot get key here key is the department okay colon since we have write, writing our own right 
dot entry dot get value this is our our logic okay so let me execute this program see here a uh, product development 5 transport and security 1 security transport 1 uh, sales and marketing 3 infrastructure 3 human resources 2 and account and finance 2 so the only thing right if you want to get the set of uh, department data so in the java 8 right collectors dot grouping by the function is there in this grouping by different set of uh, functions are there here uh, function and uh, collector here one of the way and grouping by uh, function supplier collector see in our one of the program we have used in the supplier uh, uh, linked hash map right so such a way we can use okay and and also um, grouping by concurrent suppose if you want to use the um, multi threading environment right so you can use the concurrent hash map and all concurrent uh, grouping okay so i will i will uh, explain right uh, since uh, when i'm explaining the collectors class i missed the few of the concepts so i will explain once uh, this java 8 features has been completed okay so if you like the content of the video please like and share the video with your friends and subscribe my channel for the future videos thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye